Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's almost the end of Vlogmas. Uh, I hope you've really enjoyed the Vlogmas videos. I am going to show you today what I got for Christmas 2017. Now, you can already see two presents. I'm wearing one. So my sister bought me this lovely top from Next. No, not next, sorry, from New Look, um, which is a size 16. Show you the back there, look. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a velo material. And it's big, big cabbage roses. Uh, and it's a black background with pink cabbage roses and leaves. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And the other um, present, what Andrew bought me, is on the iPad, which is a wide-angle camera lens. So that's why you can see more of me and more of our room. So uh, I can't actually physically show you because I'm actually using it at the moment. But we all know what one looks like, a wide-angle camera lens. And it's one that you can just clip on. I've also been using it, uh, I've, I've done a couple of lives on Instagram, um, so yeah, it's it's going to really come in useful. So I'm going to show you what I've got, they're just going to be in the order I pick them up, so I'll tell you who they're from, um, and how I'm going to use them. Um, first thing to mention is we, we got some money separately from my mum and separately from my dad because they're divorced. Um, so we're going to be spending that. I'm possibly going to buy some new trainers and if there's any left after that we're going to buy a new light fitting for the lounge because that's the thing we didn't replace uh, when we had the lounge done. So yeah, we have seen one that we like So, but I need some new trainers because mine have a hole in the bottom. So yeah, I'm going to get myself some new like walking and gym trainers with the Christmas money. So onto the actual presents, as I say, this top is one and my wide angle camera lens. So also from Andrew, he got me another tripod, just another little tripod that you can curl round cupboard handles and stand up in the kitchen, mainly to use for my phone. So I'll mainly use it for like doing lives on Instagram and if I have to quickly use I have to quickly film on my phone for any reason but yeah that's that's going to be coming really useful and hopefully you'll see that you'll see that a bit more while, when I'm doing my recipes or I'll maybe do a few more Instagram lives then because I actually do watch a lot of YouTube and Instagram um, and I was missing I've got one up in the office but I don't have one in the kitchen so this is like a phone stand and I was always propping my phone up um, like against the side or something and whenever a notification came through uh, and it would buzz it would fall down so I asked for a phone stand so when I'm not recording and I'm just chilling out watching other people's uh, Instagram stories and, chat and Snapchat in the kitchen I can put my phone on here and it won't fall over. So yeah, that was really nice from Andrew. Um, so that's the case for the wide angle camera lens. There's also a fisheye lens, although I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use that for. You can see the little um, cap lens caps and things. That was just from all these things Andrew usually gets from, Insta uh, from Instagram, from Amazon. So also from Andrew, he got me, this was on offer in Tesco a couple of weeks ago, uh, the box of green and blacks. So you get loads in here. And I've already, uh, you get 24 miniature bars of milk, dark and white chocolate with a small dark 70% chocolate bar and tasting notes. So this was £11. Uh, reduced half price to £5.50 and I have already dived into them and that's what's inside 
So these are between three and a half and four and a half sins. I've not worked out the sins for this one yet. Um, but yeah, so that was really nice from Andrew. And they are really satisfying because they're um, like darker chocolate and nice. So it's more satisfying than a normal chocolate bar. So yeah, green and black miniatures. Really, on the expensive side, but if you can afford them, then they're really, really nice. Similar to the Oso chocolate bars. Oh, so, and, and you will have seen this before, but Andrew bought as part of the, as part of my Christmas present, he bought my coat a few months, a couple of months ago now from Dorothy Perkins. You'll have seen this before, I've modelled it. So this is a 16 and it's a long black coat with a fur trim and it's got two little press studs and a belt. So it really cinches you in at the waist. So that was really, really nice. So I did start wearing that. I couldn't wait until Christmas. Um, so then from my mum, she, she gave me the money, but she also bought me some fluffy boot slippers. These are from Peacocks, just looking inside at the label. Um, because when I went to her house, she gave me her spare pair to wear and I loved them. So I think she made a note of it and went out and bought me some. So they're like a grey with a white star pattern and they are really, really nice and they fit really nice as well. So I love them. Then from Andrew, back to Andrew again, from Amazon, he's got me a black cardigan, a black woolly cardigan. Let me put this on for you. It's just a large... So it's quite, you know, it's quite loose, but it's just nice for wrapping round. Um, so I'll probably wear that like in the office when I'm upstairs working. And uh, if I have to quickly like nip in the car for something, um, I might put this on instead of putting my big coat on. Especially when the weather warms up a bit. But yeah, a nice black cable knit woolly cardigan from Andrew. Um, hang on, let me get this off now. I need to show my top off. Then also from Andrew, if you watched my um, weighing video yesterday, you'll have seen me doing my yoga on my new yoga mat. So he got me a yoga mat and two yoga blocks. I haven't, haven't actually found a video that uses them yet, but I'm sure I will. But I'll also use this for my fitness stretch class on a Monday night. And it'll be nice to have my own mat and not have to go early and try and get the gym mats. Because there's never enough to go around and you have to go about half an hour early to try and grab a gym mat. So it'll be nice to know that I've got my own and I can just rock up five minutes before the class starts and set myself up with my own mat. So yeah, that was really thoughtful of Andrew and then I can use it at home as well. Because I am trying to make the move towards um, not needing the gym and being able to do my own exercise. So it's nice to have a bit of equipment at home. Then from, also from Andrew, I got really spoiled got these ER pyjamas from um, which I've already been wearing that's why they're out of the packet these were from Sainsbury's and these are a 16 so that's the top and it says it's time for bed they're, they're woolly as well fleecy so we've got ER sat on a blanket and then they, they're legging tight bottoms so they're a bit tighter on the leg which is nice um, just grey with ER shapes in the leg. So they're from, they were from Sainsbury's, £18 I think they were. <coughs> and then another pair of pyjamas from Andrew's mum and dad, which were from Primark. And these are a 14 to 16. And they are a, li a little bit tight on the bottom, but I'm sure in another month or two I'll be in them comfortably. But it's a pink top with a butterfly pattern, fleecy again, and grey bottoms with pink butterflies. So really, really nice. 
I've just had them you can see that they're quite they're quite giving but they're that's quite tight elastic at the top so 14 to 16 and they do the top fits nicely and they're just a little bit tight around the stomach area um, and around the crotch area but hopefully in another month or so I'll be in them comfortably <coughs> excuse me so yeah two lovely pairs of pyjamas also from Andrew's parents um, they asked Andrew what snacks I liked and he told them about the pea snacks sour cream and chive they are four sins so they got me a packet of them you know a multi-pack <coughs> let me just get a drink and then He'd also told them about the Nutella Be Ready bars, which are six sins, but they couldn't find them. So they bought me a jar of Nutella, a big jar. It's a, let's have a look, 630 gram jar. It's a big one. Now this is not something I would have bought for myself because I know that something like this in the house is something I can't resist. I find it a trigger. So I am going to struggle with this. So I've asked Andrew to put it on the top shelf behind everything else um, and to reach it down when I ask for it. Like this morning I've had it on uh, waffles. So I've already had four sins today. So it's four, 15, 15 grams is four sins or a level tablespoon. So yeah, and I'm also going to ask Andrew to make some cakes for work with it to get through it. But yeah, I might be uh, confessing to a bit of eating of Nutella over the next few weeks. <clears throat> but I might also try and make the um, Ferrero Rocher sweets. I think you use... Um, <coughs> I think you use Rivita or Scanbran or Weetabix to make little... Um, sweets that are like Ferrero Rocher with the Nutella so we'll see how that goes and then so my mum also bought me some knickers from Marks and Spencers she got me an 18 because I asked her to size up just in case um, it's nice to be comfy in your knickers isn't it so M&S full briefs we always need knickers um, then my sister bought me the, this was the main present, this top from New Look and then she got this from Aldi I think she said a necklace and earrings <coughs> now I haven't got my ears pierced but I do really like this necklace but yeah I think that's really pretty and just from Aldi Aldi or Lidl, one of the two. These are from Aldi. She's bought me these before. The Swiss Assorted Neapolitan Chocolates. They are one and a half sins each. And again, they're really nice and tasty and satisfying because it's good quality chocolate. <coughs> an, assort an assortment of milk chocolates, dark chocolates and milk chocolate with hazelnut. Really, really nice. One and a half sins each. So just a little nibble. And then she also got me my sister, my sister and my nephew I should say, Sarah and William, got me this book about the dog. It's the um, Ladybird books, that are, you know, like funny books. So I'll have a read of that. So it says, Littleton is confused. There are two non-dogs in his bedroom, which are cats. Now his bedroom will smell of the non-dogs. Littleton will have to make his bedroom smell nice again by weeing all over it. <coughs> and then here it says, Catch the ball, Mop Top, says Richard. Richard does not throw the ball. Mop Top runs for a few yards, then comes back for more, wagging his tail. Richard wishes anything else he did in his life could make anyone as happy as not throwing a ball for Mop Top. 
So it's just like a humorous book about dog owning, which is really, really nice. So I need to have a proper look at that, but that is really good. I think that'll make us laugh. And then lastly, I got a waffle maker from Andrew's brother, or my brother-in-law, and his girlfriend. <clears throat> so it's a Von Chef, which I think he's just got from Amazon. And it's a two plate one, so you get big waffles. And I've made them from, I've made the waffles using the oaty pancake mixture and they've come out really nice so I need to have another go at it but I may do a recipe at some stage so yeah that's what I've had for my breakfast this morning waffles uh, four sins of chalk shop um, Nutella sorry with raspberries and oranges and the rest of the yogurt that I used in the mix right so that is what I got for Christmas this year. I was a very lucky girl. I'm very grateful. Thank you to all those who gave me gifts. And thank you for watching.